in the name of allah almighty who is the most forgiving and is most beneficent in today's lecture we are going to learn the rules about synonyms particularly how to create synonyms in the examinations so first of all we need to learn the nature of the synonyms and then we will be fine in getting questions done answers done so we have first outline here how words are studied so words are always studied with their classification grammatical interpretation and with different contexts of meaning and usage words are included in the dictionaries with their relations to the words to the other words words depend on the intensity and depth of their effects words are too powerful we have to classify them as per their need words should be noted down along with the synonyms and antonyms phrasal verbs are the best choice if you could find one means this is this is how words are studied and this is how you need to collect the words when then when we have uh, then we have why to make a diary because this process is very necessary if you do want to command on the synonyms and without studying lots of words you will not be able to solve the test or examination especially is, is a, especially examinations concerned with the competitive uh, level exams university exams and all this diary is the simplest method to make a storage of words normal lewis has suggested a universally accepted technique for the learning words for long span of time brain stores data whenever we read it it flashes out when we do not use it However if we record or write some something our brain will create a folder in the mind whenever we review written words all data is restored diary is a source by which we can refresh our lost data it includes all things we read write speak listen but we need something to get it back so all words are learned all things we get by learning out we save the data and then we need to find out things like that we have to restore it so that is why we need such things when we study about words or anything okay and now we have how to learn long list of synonyms within limited span of time so this is a secret this is kind of a rule or principle suggested by normal lewis you can write it as the first principle or the first rule to learn the synonyms this lecture is connected with particularly with the examinations and we need to solve them so that is why we have to follow such principles no word is irrelevant neither unstudied you have already read all the words which are given in the aptitude tests and in competitive examinations words which look difficult are actually synonyms and antonyms to each other we know all words but not the synonyms so basically we know all words but for examinations we have to cover a number of words which are the synonyms of the words we know so simply we have to find out more synonyms to the words we know baron's vocabulary is a base source for cracking any vocabulary exams in the world word formula one is we have to target one word and then four synonyms means we if we know one word we have to find out its four synonyms four antonyms and one word substitute if we could find it so we have to collect words like that if you are using gre vocabulary barons vocabulary so you have to find out word there you have to make the synonyms or other words or you have to use dictionaries then you have to collect write it in your own diary because without making a diary you cannot solve the large number of synonyms within limited span of time you have to record words you have to write words in diary and these are the antonyms and one phrasal verb so if you could find phrasal verb relevant to the basic words synonyms then it would be great for you over 3500 words are in baron's gre we need to study just 438 if you follow this formula then simply you have to study 438 words because we are going to take the four synonyms and four antonyms out of this large number the large lines of vocabulary so this is very simple but you need to study it you need to confirm words from the dictionaries now i'm going to solve few things in the test 
then you will understand all the gist. Okay, now we have a list of synonyms. Here the first word is a bore. Now its options are ido, different, hate, and unpleasant. Ido means to hate somebody. So this is its synonym. And then we have allegiance. This is number eight. Now here see it. Abolish. Now abolish means to erase something. So nullify, uh, build, and disappear. These are not matching with it. So erase is the correct word. Okay, we are also doing this because we have to cover the words. Allegiance, allegiance, obligation, allegation, state, and narrated. Allegiance means obligation. Obligation means particularly duty. If you have allied yourself with a particular party, with particular person, with particular organization, now your obligation is follow all the rules, all the constitution which is given to you. So this comes in obligation. Now we have the other word ambiguous. Ambiguous means confusing. Now we have word cordial, odious, clear. Clear is antonym here. Dubious, double meaning. So dubious means ambiguous, which cannot be understood. Absol, discharge, penalize, das, uh, digest, concentrate. Now these three words are irrelevant. Its answer is discharge. Discharge from any case discharge from any blame discharge from the sins and all this so this is this process is called absol we have another word amicable now where uh, here we have the options courteous flexible reserve and hostile amicable means friendly kind nature now we see hostile is not relevant to the meaning reserve no it's again not uh, Eleven flexible can be possible, but we have a particular word here, courteous. It covers the range of its meaning, so it falls in the category of amicable. Now we have word accomplice. Accomplice is very famous word. It is used in newspapers, especially when there is a hearing is hearing is published on a particular case. So it it is concerned with the law word. A complice means companion, but companion in crime, not a friend. Companion in crime is called a complice. And then we have abduct. Abduct is very simple. It means kidnap. Punish, kill, and flatter. These are eleven words. Adorable. Now we have these words. Boring is its synonym. Adjustable. No, it's again irrelevant. Permissible is again irrelevant. We have only one perfect matching. That is attractive. And then we have abjure. Abjure means to leave something, step down, possible, dethrone, swear, renounce. Now abjure's general meaning is to leave something, but particularly a faith, a belief. So abjure falls in the category of renounce, means to leave something. So here we have this type of word. So I hope you are getting the meaning of uh, such beautiful words. And we have adversity. Adversity is again very common word if you have studied it. Opponent, hardship, opening, agency. But here, opponent. Yeah, we do not have uh, perfect synonyms given here in this word. Adverse. Adversity means enmity. But we have this word, opponent. So it's not. Case of synonyms, but it becomes the case of synonym variants. This is a case of synonym variants. I will let you know what are the synonym variants, and you will understand them. Okay, I am writing here. Uh, okay, synonym variants are those words whose meaning is same but whose class is different. So we call them synonym variants. But in synonym, we have to find out the same word, same class, and same meaning. If we have this word adversity now adversity has particular meaning we know it is the enmity but we have to find a word like it it must be a noun here we adversity is a noun so we do not have any other noun here it's opponent adversity and opponent has a difference okay in class in classification of words but we do not have any other choice so that is why we are uh, Taking market because it could be possible mistake in notes. Okay, 
then abortive abortive is a very famous gre word it means unsuccessful or unfruitful okay successful puzzling and very bad this is eleven one and then affinity now affinity is liking loving somebody or having very close relation to somebody or something and then we have abominable abominable it means what do you think what type of meaning it does give abominable has the meaning that is dirty means a thing which is prohibited it's it's like that okay and then we have absorb absorb it falls in the category of engross now abros uh, absorb have different nature here because we find it out through the options here we have inter exist and dry absorb and dry are opponents they are antonyms exact is means not relevant inter inter is a possible synonym here but this word is not clearly given the meaning so we found uh, one word which means uh, which meaning is to grab the attention so we absorb the attention of the people when we talk something good when we talk some thing which is concerned with the emergency everybody sees and everybody observes so that is why this word has a relevant meaning and that is why we are going to tick mark it and then we have a word banish unfortunately in these notes synonym of banish is not available so you have to write its synonym that is uh, banish means is to send uh, to send somebody in a foreign country a person who is not politically allowed to do some movements activities in the country so there are so many politicians who are banished who are sent in exile so exile is a synonym a synonym of this word and uh, we have studied uh, near about 16 words i think these words are enough for your today's lecture but i am going to complete a series of gre vocabulary in which you are going to learn you are going to create the particular words in the gre so i hope that you have got the idea of how synonyms are studied and how we need to create the synonyms so in this way the words are studied and if you have any question you may ask uh, there are more things i need to uh, tell you about the synonyms in my upcoming lecture i will tell you the more things about synonym one thing here in the end of lecture you need to understand that is whenever just a minute okay here here i am just a minute yeah the one thing whenever you are going to find a word synonym you need to find out you need to find out class and meaning of the same word then you will be able to find out all things thank you